Welcome to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'm going to show you how to enable a feature in Ableton called Record Quantization. When you enable this feature, every MIDI note records in perfect timing. I'll also show you how to add something called Groove to take away that repetitive feel that quantizing can sometimes cause. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, so here we have our session. The first thing we need to do, we need to enable record quantization. To do that, we're going to go to the top where it says edit and go down near the bottom where it says record quantization. Now in here, we're going to make our selection of how we want it to be quantized. So I want mine to be an eighth note quantization. So I'm going to make my selection and I'm going to be adding a drum kit to a loop that I already have. So let's listen to the loop. And these are the sounds I'll be adding. Now to record this, I'm going to change the monitor to in so we don't have any feedback. I'm going to turn on the metronome and let's go ahead and record this. Now, as you can tell, it sounded pretty terrible. It didn't sound perfectly on time and that was intentional. So even though it was bad, we're going to double click it here. And as you can see, every single note is perfectly in time. So let's play this without the metronome. So that's pretty cool, right? Now the downside to this though, is that it takes away the human rhythm. So sometimes being too perfect is not great. So to get back that human rhythm feel, we're going to go ahead and add a groove to this. So to add a groove, we're going to go to the left hand side and you're going to see a little circle with two little, two little waves. So I'm going to click on the circle and this brings up the groove pool. Now to add a groove, we're going to go to categories, go to grooves, and I've already pre-selected a groove for this tutorial and I'm going to go down to hip hop late eight. So I'm going to click and drag to add it to the groove pool. And right now it's not affecting any clips. It's not assigned to any clips. So to assign this to a clip, we're going to go to the clip itself. On the left hand side, you're going to see groove. So in here, we're going to make our selection. Obviously, if you have more grooves, you're going to see them here and you can select whichever groove you like. So I have hip hop late eighth. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go back to the groove pool. So as you can see, the parameters are now active and we can use them. And the bass here is basically what it's going to be based off of, what kind of notes. So mine is an eighth note, so I'm going to select eighth. And the quantize is basically, if you haven't quantized it yet, this will quantize it for you. And the percentages here for timing, random, and velocity are how much percentage the groove will affect the clip. So 100% of the timing will be affected by the groove. The random, basically the random timing of the notes. So if we push this up, you're going to hear the difference. Let's go all the way to a 90. It's pretty bad, right? So if you go down to, I don't know, maybe around 40, 35%, you're going to hear a slight difference, but it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and push it down to 15. So as you can tell, it takes away that perfect feel and velocity. Basically, if you can actually go up to 100 or negative 100. So now the difference here, though, is that if you have a high velocity, it's going to play the high velocities low. And if you have a low velocity, it's going to play it high if you go down to low. So let's go ahead and keep it around 80 percent. Let's go with 80. So let's go ahead and play that. And yes, yeah, so this is how you use record quantization and the groove pool in Ableton. Thank you for watching. By subscribing, liking, and commenting, you help us reach a wider audience interested in music production. I do music production tutorials using Pro Tools and Ableton, as well as review and demo music production equipment. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next session.